thought I'd like to do a video on the SCR245. Uh, it's a uh, low power vehicle mounted set. Uh, the major component of the SCR245 is the BC223 transmitter. And there's two examples uh, that I'm showing you here. One's an early uh, A model here on the left and a later uh, AX model. And some of the differences are the early model here is um, has a, well, I like to call it an alligator finish, uh, wrinkle finish compared to the coarser uh, grain later model that everybody's mostly used to. There is uh, no voltage switch. Uh, the later model has a 12 volt, 24 volt voltage uh, selector switch so you can operate it on either voltage. Uh, another difference is uh, there's no phantom antenna on the uh, later model, which is kind of a neat that they put a, actually a dummy antenna built right into the unit. Uh, by, and you push the button here uh, to tune it and load through the dummy load, which is a neat option. And I'm sure I'm forgetting something else, but other... Uh, oh, the blast shields. Uh, the later model has the blast shields over the meters. And uh, that's about all I can think of on that. So they're about a 10 watt output, nominally 10 watts, uh, CW, uh, tone, and uh, it does modulate uh, voice AM. So uh, what comes with it is a different set of um, tuning units. These tuning units, they unclip. Let's see if I can get this out without too much trouble. I have the top lid off of that one. As you can see, as I was looking at the relay, the unit comes out. I believe there's three different tuning units, and uh, I'll show you them later. And then they slide back in depending on which frequency, and uh, that's how you select it. Now, this one is good for 35 to uh, 5250, so it covers the 7580 meter band. It's, uh, it's crystal selectable. If you have four crystals that go under this compartment here, and it also has a master oscillator, which is tuned down here. And uh, there's not a whole bunch more to it. It's a very basic set. Uh, the tubes are underneath the back here. Uh, this cover comes off. I think I can actually lift that up. Well, easier said than done. And then it gives you access to the tubes. So that's the major components of the SCR245. I had mentioned on the transmitter that there were three uh, tuning units to change bands. And uh, they would come uh, in this case, see it's a CS56. It's a metal carrying case or storage case that we can keep the spare tuning units or the one that you don't use while the other one's in the transmitter. Basically it's just a black wrinkle metal case. If you open the lid up, you can see how the uh, tuning unit basically snaps in and is stored uh, just like it would be if you're putting it in the transmitter. So you just unsnap it and then you can swap your uh, tuning units, put the other one back in the case, and uh, you're good to go. So that's the CS56 case for the SCR245. Right, so to power the SCR245, you had a couple choices. You could use a vibrator supply, or you could use a dynamotor. There's a couple dynamotors available. Uh, the one here I have is the PE55. That's an earlier dynamotor. Um, it's only 12 volt. It's not selectable 12 and 24. The later selectable dynamotor unit was the PE135AX. And then uh, the other choice you had is the vibrator unit. Uh, this is the PE125AX. Uh, this is also voltage selectable, 12 and 24 volts. Uses two uh, plug-in vibrator units, two voltage regulator tubes, and uh, it's a nice alternative uh, uh, to the uh, dynamotor if you don't have anything to drive the dynamotor. So uh, there's a couple uh, of uh, different choices there for the SCR245 for um, powering it.
So here we have the complete SCR245 setup. Uh, on the right is the BC223 transmitter. We have the vibrator unit in the middle. And on the left, we have the uh, BC312 receiver. There is a uh, lot of information out there on the BC312 receiver, so I'm not going to get too much into that. But um, <laughs> I don't, uh, it looks like I have a friend here. I don't uh, think there's a lot of uh, information on it as the BC312 being used as the control for the transmitter. So this will be uh, hopefully uh, unique uh, for that at least. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to flip the power on. On the transmitter, let that warm up. And now on the receiver, we'll turn that on. Let that dynamotor spool up and get that warmed up. And hopefully in a second here we will have uh, some audio coming out of this. Now what I have is I have a straight key and a microphone to demonstrate. And they're both plugged into the uh, BC312. So we do have some audio. We do have uh, 312s ready to go here. So what I'm going to do, I wish I could get both in the picture but I can't key up the transmitter and then we should hear the uh, vibrator unit come on there we go and you can see the dial light as I transmit here and my friend is back so <laughs> we have it on voice and there we go we're transmitting now, if I want to run CW, flip this switch on, which will turn the vibrator unit on. A lot of noise with that in the receiver or the audio. And if I key up, you can hear it mutes out the receiver. And I can transmit. So there we have it, cat and all, there's a brief demonstration of the SCR 245.